So, first of all, hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving weekend. I hope you guys bought some good shit while going Black Friday shopping. Hope you didn't kill anybody while going Black Friday shopping. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Hawkeye reaction. Today, we have Hawkeye Episode 3. Now, before we get started, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Check out some of my other videos. I've been doing reactions to you, the Netflix show, that is. Not you, but you the netflix show also check out all my other reactions on the channel like movie reactions and also a bunch of other marvel shows i covered loki i covered what if and now we're doing hawkeye i also did reviews for falcon and the winter soldier and wandavision so today we're back with hawkeye episode three now all i gotta say about the first two episodes is that they were pretty good and they definitely feel like setups those first two episodes were released together and it makes complete sense why because they both rely on each other to feel complete. That was like, it really feels like the first two episodes were the setup. Introduce the characters, introduce all the players, and now potentially in episode three, we're ready to go. Let's kick off with some action. Let's get it going. I really like the introduction of Haley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop. I thought she was fantastic. And what I'm really looking forward to to keep watching in the show is her and Jeremy Renner's chemistry and Hawkeye and Kate Bishop bouncing off each other because they were fantastic in the first two episodes or at least in the second episodes. They didn't meet in the first episode really until the ending. So now we have episode three called Echoes. Oh yeah, at the end of episode two we got introduced, well we kind of got introduced, to a brand new character who I believe is called Echo. She's going to have her own Disney Plus show. So she must have done something huge in this show. An actress must have showed Marvel something that they really liked for them to give her her own Disney Plus Marvel show. So I'm really looking forward to getting to know her and the introduction to her. Dun, 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 dun. My family upstairs is right now watching Shang-Chi. And the Legend of the Ten Rings. It has nothing to do with this. I just, you know, I'm watching a Marvel Studios thing down my basement. And they're upstairs watching Shang-Chi right now. Is this Echo's backstory? Hmm. Is she really good at reading lips? Upstairs is right now watching Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That's so cool. I think sign language is so awesome. I'd love to. I'd love to learn it. Of course, she has a martial arts background. She's gonna need to know how to fight, potentially. Hmm? Uncle will take you home after class. I'll see you tonight. Wait, her dad's wearing a tracksuit. Wait, wait, he's part of the mafia. <laughs> Who's her uncle? Why they hide her uncle? Oh, she doesn't have a leg either? Sick. Good job. Oh. Yep, her dad was part of the mafia and got killed by Ronan. Time for revenge. Ooh. Sick. Yes, give me more brutal Ronan action. Damn, just like that. We get introduced to that and we take away the father. This is Disney. We gotta take away the parental figure. What else is gonna motivate her? This episode's already getting also a really good start. I buy Imagine Dragons tickets for my girlfriend as like early uh, Christmas g gift. <laughs> These guys are ridiculous. Can't fight, you know what she said? She mm. said that the tickets were gift. So she wants to bring her sister. I mean, look on the bright side, you don't have to go see Imagine Dragons. Oh, what a diss. Yeah, they got bangers. They got a few songs. Hard of hearing, not deaf. Ah, uh, because he's new to it, he's new to it. More cookie, please, thank you. <laughs> you rely too much on technology. Now she needs your hearing aid. Oh. You might find you're better off without it. Oh. Mm. He's gonna need to embrace his uh his hearing problems. Because he's dead. So who got him then? 
Oh, I love that. Please cut back and forth between between this hearing thing. I love it. Let's wait for my signal. Go. How did you do that? Time to learn some things, Kate. Oh, Clint, let's see some action. Clear them out. Parkour. Oh. Woo. Yes, this is the action that we were missing in the first two episodes. Oh shit, it's knocked out. She's gonna crush it. Oh. Time to learn. He's too nice! He's too nice with it! Oh! <laughs> yes! Arrow action! Let's go! Woo. Slide tackle! Red card! That was sick. The action in the show is very promising for what's to come. Let's go. What? How do I drive? Come over here! Woo! Oh shit, are we doing a one-shot type of thing? Love when shows or movies do this. <laughs> this is sick! They really loaded up on the action on this one. Trick arrows! <laughs> hey, we're communicating! Teamwork! 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 <laughs> she definitely killed them, right? I gotta say, um, as as much as the action is fantastic in this show, uh, so so far, I've noticed in the last two episodes, and this episode already, the CG isn't that clean. The green screen and stuff, it's noticeable. It's not that clean. A plunger arrow? What is a trick that is completely useless? However, it does feel like this is on a TV show budget. TV shows that try these kind of things um, don't really have the greatest CGI. Just look at CW's Flash. It tries things. I mean, you just kind of gotta gotta let them go because of their TV budget. What is he doing? Gonna crash into us. Oh shit! What's the what's the play here? Bring the arrow down on him. I don't really know what the plan is, this is just a normal arrow. Teamwork. Yeah, this is so dope. Woo! Pim! Haha! <laughs> is he gonna shoot? Oh! That was sick! What? The USB arrow? What am I supposed to do with this? The USB arrow from Avengers! I do not want to see what this arrow does! Trust me! Nice. Yes! Turn around shot! She doesn't have an arrow. <laughs> Hold on. Blunger! Yay, Kevin Handy. Oh, we gotta walk the dog. <laughs> You're not wrong. Call yourself one of the world's greatest archers. Oh yeah, he can't hear her. <laughs> I won't lie, I, I wasn't sure how to do it. Pipes walk the dog. <laughs> this is already the best episode out of the three. So good. They keep pushing this Rogers the musical everywhere. I love this. The fact that he has to embrace this uh I mean the disability he has now, it's it's awesome. Daniel? Yeah, Daniel. What are you What are you doing, buddy? You're oh, you're, you're bored. <laughs> you're, 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 Teamwork. You're, you're, a big Christmas sweater party. You ready for that? Mm. It seems like, okay. It seems like she's finally, uh, Kate, that is, right there. Haley's doing a great job acting right there. That she is uh, just now kind of snapped out of this, let's go on an adventure together, that she's like realizing how much his family actually means to him. Um, I'm going to be there, buddy. Hey, you know I'm going to be there, like I said, right? Um, I'm so happy to hear your voice. Damn. Thank you. Almost got me a little emotional there. No. 
Who's uncle? They're hiding the uncle. Who's the uncle? She's out for revenge. All she's thinking about is revenge. Is her uncle Kingpin? I know he's supposed to make an appearance in this show. Is it Kingpin? Uh, lock, delete. <laughs> that was kind of funny. That was funny. He's going to need to learn how to read lips. Like, look, every single time they keep doing the talking thing, he's not even looking at people. When I put that suit on, I thought, this is it. This is the moment I become who I'm supposed to be. An Avenger. A young Avenger. I've been thinking about your branding issue. Yes! Get him a costume. A recognizable costume. My job for the last 20 years was to be not recognizable, right? Well, you've officially failed at that. That's what I said in um, in the last reaction. In purple. Oh, she wow. is not an artist. That's a nature. That's on your forehead. That's for Hawkeye. Wow, not happening. <laughs> it might. It might. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm not a role model to anyone. You're a role model to her. You're you're saying right. that to the one person and probably the whole world who's your biggest fan. You left your family at Christmas because you thought some stranger was going to get hurt. You stuck around even though I screwed up. It is going to be very interesting when she finds out that he was Ronan. How she's going to look at him. He is her role model. And that might that might change completely the way she looks at him. Sir Dog of Pizza. Pizza Dog. The guy at the top. He'll do anything to grow the operation. I thought Maya was Kingpin. Off. That's pretty upsetting to think there might the be ring. stuff from the Avengers compound floating around out there. They're, they were looking. They were looking some like weird ring. This, this is the home. Yeah, my uh, great 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 grandfather built the building. Yes, that's exactly what we all said when we saw her complain about leaving this penthouse back in episode one. Yeah, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> I didn't know his last name. The mom's here? The mom's home? With the Ronin sword. Wow. That was it? That felt like it flew by. That's episode three of Hawkeye. That ending really caught me off guard just because it ended so quickly. That felt like a really quick episode. But it also felt like we got a lot in this episode. Uh, first of all, the action sequence in the beginning with the car, the one shot, the trick arrows. Fantastic. Want to see more of that? Yes, please. Uh, also, an introduction to Echo. So, uh, Ronan killed her dad. She's part of the Tracksuit Mafia. And she's after Ronan. Everybody seems to be interested in who this Ronin guy could be, and it's going to be interesting to see how people react when they find out it's Clint, because he doesn't want to tell people that. He does not want people to know that he did that stuff when he was Ronin. I'm more interested in seeing what happens when Kate finds out that he's Ronin, because the whole role model talk that they had, he is her role model. When she finds out what he did as Ronin, it's going to be interesting to see how, how she reacts to that and how she might see him in a different light. But that's what's great about the show. They are doing a fantastic job already building this relationship between Clint and Kate. The teamwork that they had throughout this entire episode, just awesome. I want to see more of that. People have been hyping up episode 4, like the creators have been hyping up episode 4. So apparently, episode 4, we're going to see Kingpin. And then next week after that episode, episode 5 is going to happen. So it's going to be interesting what happens in episode 5. But also the week of episode 5, um, a little movie by the name of Spider-Man No Way Home drops. And in that movie, we might see a little little, 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 little Daredevil, a little, little camera from Daredevil himself. You know, Mr. Charlie Cox will show up. I also, like I kept saying throughout the reaction, I'm loving the whole thing that they're doing with his hearing, the disability that he has with hearing and how he lost the hearing aid. It's going to be a thing, I think, that he's going to discover about himself, and he's potentially going to learn how to actually read lips, learn more sign language, that whole thing, and the way they're going to do it with the audio cutting in and out, and 
it, it's gonna be great it's gonna be great i'm looking forward to seeing more of that also it makes me think since this echo character is getting her own disney plus show her own disney plus show i'm guessing she's gonna be the main character in it how are they gonna do it because i you know off the top of my head i can't think of i mean besides a quiet place and there may maybe i'm forgetting something maybe i'm forgetting some other projects but i don't think i've ever seen a tv show uh where a character the main character is going to be primarily using sign language. You've you probably watched foreign movies before. You have to read subtitles because they're in a different language. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal because sign language is another language, and so subtitles won't be a problem. But it makes me think that this guy Kazi that's with her, he's like the guy who translates for her, kind of. Is he also going to be in the show? Like, there's going to be a character there who. Is going to be able to speak to the audience you know what I mean? it's just going to be very interesting i'm very curious to see how her show will operate with the fact that she is a deaf character and i believe the actress who plays her is actually deaf in real life so that just adds layers to the whole thing that was episode three of hawkeye let me know down in the comments what did you think of today's episode did you think it was too short did you really like the action like i did did you enjoy the teamwork between kate bishop and clint barton are you looking forward to seeing more of that let me know all of that down in the comments i would love to have a discussion with you about that make sure you leave a like and subscribe i'd really appreciate that and i'll see you guys next time peace